you are a teacher. You have a lot of responsibilities. There are a lot of things on your shoulders. You have kids of whatever age looking up to you. You have no time to be sick. So let's talk about how to keep you from getting that way, shall we? Cheers. <laughs> If you are a first time visitor, oh my gosh, welcome. This video will not disappoint. This is a series of videos that I am going to be sending out to you every week on Thursdays. Just a little teacher tip happy hour to close out your week on a positive note and hopefully give you something to think about over the weekend, maybe solve some problems you're having. Today is, if not the most important one, one of the most important videos I think I will ever record. And that is how to keep from getting sick. You guys, I'm such a dork. And this week at school, I like actually let it out in front of my students. Like I was like doing weird things and I was like, I always kind of like sing songs, but it's only October, right? So it's only like a couple months into the year. My students aren't quite used to me yet. I was nerding out and being so weird. And like two kids were smiling and we're talking like, you know what, eating grins because they were like, this is awesome. She's lost her mind. And then like, 70% of the kids were just like, they like didn't know what to do with me and it was so funny. So anyways, here I am in all my glory. Let's talk about how you are not going to get sick this year. We keep hearing every single year, oh, cold season is getting earlier and getting more severe. So let's keep us from actually getting sick. I have three things to help you keep from getting sick. And my first one is legitimately the one thing I will tell everybody. First tip, use and keep to yourself your own writing utensils. This includes pens, pencils, colored pencils, uh, highlighters, expo markers. Keep them away from anybody else's hands, including other adults, but especially your students. Love them, but kids are so bad at washing their hands, and plus, their germs and your germs are just gonna mix on there. So whatever you have that's not making you sick, they're gonna get, and whatever they have that's not necessarily making them sick, you're gonna get. Keep your writing utensils to yourself. It will save you so much. It will just save you, seriously. Like I stopped getting really, really sick when I started keeping my own pens and pencils to myself and not using other people's things and like keeping my little jar away where nobody else could reach it on the other side of my desk. Number two is in that same vein. Sanitize your teacher area daily. So like your keyboard computer, your, <laughs> your computer keyboard, which would be what it's actually called, um, your desk, your desk chair, anything around your area and the things that you touch, the knobs on your drawers that you could be like touching something else and then leaving those germs somewhere else. Sanitize it every single day, whether that's with like, the sanitizing wipes, whether that's with some spray, whatever it is, make sure you are getting those things clean. Don't forget your doorknob every single day of your classroom. Okay, and my very last number three tip is don't be a hero. If you have a tickle in your throat, go home. If you can't go home that night, like that afternoon when school's over, go to bed. Take a sub day if you have to. Do not be a hero. Drink plenty of fluids, do all the things the doctors tell you to do, but just like go to sleep. It's gonna be way easier to write one day of sub plans to keep yourself from getting really sick than it's going to be to write three days, five days, however long you're actually sick if whatever it is that is tickling your throat takes hold in your your body. Don't mess with it. Go to bed and rest so that your body gets what it needs to make sure that you can be there for your students. You can't pour from an empty cup. P.S. This is totally empty. I'm completely out of coffee. My daughter's asleep in the other room, so I might be waiting a few minutes. Anyways, okay you guys, I really really hope that this helps you stay healthy. This cold and flu season and every single one subsequently. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions or if you have a suggestion for a topic for a teacher tips happy hour, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell so that you don't miss any notifications for new videos and I will see you guys next time. Have a great one, bye.